Hello, it's Lexi and Valentina. And I'm back today with another What I Eat in a Day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We are going into winter now in Cape Town, South Africa, and it's definitely getting cooler, especially in the mornings. And I am actually finding myself feeling like breakfast. I made myself my first cup of coffee for the day with the beautiful Turbidor Dutch chocolate. And then I had this idea to make some coffee granola. I've not made it before, so I thought, let's give it a try. Let's see what it's like. Can only be good. I mean, it's coffee. It has to be good. So I made an extra mocha and then I melted a few tablespoons of butter. I added some maple syrup to that. And then I added the coffee, which was basically two double espressos. I then added the oats and some hazelnuts and a pinch of salt. And the idea was to just keep it simple. I could have added some chopped chips or some flaked coconut or some dried fruit, but I wanted to just keep it very, very simple. I then put it on a silicone uh, mat so that it wouldn't stick and popped it in a very low oven at 180 degrees Celsius. So um, not a hot oven because it will burn. And it came out absolutely beautiful. Um, it looks like it's burnt, but it's actually not. That is the deep color from the espresso. Um, and the flavor was absolutely delicious. So that was a very good, good idea so early in the morning. I don't usually have good ideas that early in the morning, but this one was definitely a winner and definitely something to make again. I then served that up with some plain yogurt and banana. So on to lunch. I don't know if you've seen on TikTok the viral video about the chopped salad sandwich. Well, I keep seeing this over and over and I decided, okay, that's happening today. So I went hunting in the fridge for all the Mediterranean flavors that I could find. So some um, peppers, some cucumber, lettuce, spinach. And I think I also found some sun-dried tomatoes. Yes, some dried tomatoes and some feta. So basically everything that's Mediterranean flavors, I thought that would be really awesome in a chopped salad sandwich. Um, one thing was missing and I was hoping that I had it in the cupboard. And yes, I did. Kalamata olives. I also did add some avo to it and some fresh basil. Oh, and of course, tomatoes. So, I do have one issue with this chopped salad sandwich. If you've seen any of my videos where I'm making pasta, you will note that I never ever chop the basil leaves on the cutting board. And the reason for that is that all the good juices, if you want to call it juices, or the flavor that's coming out of that basil leaf then goes into the cutting board. So you always tear your basil leaf to throw into your pasta sauce. So that was my issue with this chopped salad, is that all the good flavors are going right into the cutting board. So I decided I'm going to do this Lexi style. So I took all the ingredients and I put it into a food processor. Less mess and so much more flavor. I did also add some fresh lemon juice and some extra virgin olive oil.
I did not have time to bake bread that day, so I just used um, shop-bought ciabattas, but I will link my recipe for my ciabattas, which are super simple, easy to make, and very, very delicious. So once I cut these open, I just popped them in a pan with a little bit of olive oil and just toasted them a little bit. Just to get a little bit of crunch to them. And then because I have a very real mayo addiction and because the Be Well mayo is only the best mayo, not just in Cape Town, but in the world. <laughs> okay, my opinion, but it's really, really good mayo. It just goes so well with everything and just adds so much flavor and happens to be vegan as well. So I added a little bit of mayo onto the rolls and then we loaded our chopped salad. And yes, this was super messy, really, really messy, but who cares? It was worth it. And I totally get the chopped salad because you really get the full flavor of every single ingredient in every bite. So if you have not tried this, give it a try and use whichever flavors you want to. You don't have to use the Mediterranean flavors that I use, whatever you feel for that day or whatever you think works well together. But this was really, really delicious. And um, I am going to definitely try it again with some different flavors. Dinner was one of those dinners at the end of the day where you want something tasty but you don't feel in the mood for cooking. So I used some fries, um, sausages and the sticky plum sauce which is absolutely divine. And I basically just put it in a pan with some onions and some peppers and some lentils. And that was it. Popped it on top of some rice which I had already had made. So this was a super quick, easy, but tasty dinner to do. And I will link the ingredients below for you. And then I just topped it with some avo because why not? And it was really, really delicious. It was very filling and it was a great end to the day without having to spend hours in the kitchen cooking but having something really really tasty and very nutritious. Hope you liked at least one of these recipes and we'll give them a try and let me know if you do.